Well, you know, in recent years, Erie and the rest of the country have dealt with a homelessness problem, one that continues to grow. And in some cities, police are fining people for sleeping outside. The Supreme Court heard oral arguments today about whether those fines are legal. Our Elspeth Meisner is joining us live tonight from downtown Erie. Elspeth, tell us a little bit more about what's at stake with these oral arguments. Eva, this all stems from a small town in Oregon who's dealing with an ongoing homelessness problem because they don't have enough shelters. Now the question remains, how should cities deal with the homelessness problem if there's not enough shelters? And does imposing a fine on these people who don't have homes amount to cruel and unusual punishment? Christina Bretner lives on the streets and is afraid of the possibility of getting penalized for her current situation. I'm homeless, so I deserve to be punished? Why? Joseph Sims knows what it's like to be homeless, but he got the help thanks to the Erie City Mission. I was homeless before and I came here and uh, I happened to get a job and you know uh, one of the things that they did for me is help me find a place you know and actually stick and stay there and you know just help me come up with a game plan to uh, set me financially straight. Homelessness is an issue that's not going to be solved overnight, which is why it's vital that there's different community resources and services to help those in need, like the Mercy Center for Women. Jenny Haggerty has a wait list of over 50 women looking to get help from the Mercy Center for Women, but she doesn't know if this decision solves the bigger problem at hand. I think uh, that the Supreme Court now is coming um, to determine what their future looks like, these individuals, what their future looks like and what they will and will not be penalized for is uh, very concerning. Sims believes mental health is just as important as tackling homelessness. A lot of the people who are homeless today uh, have mental health backgrounds. And people who are not, uh, if you can't get help with homelessness, how do you expect to get help for your mental health? Haggerty is confident that providing support and resources will go further than having people pay a fine. That's incredibly important as opposed to, again, um, banning them or charging them a fine. I believe Supreme Court is recommending somewhere between $250 and $1,200. I really don't know where homeless people would be able to find those type of resources um, to repay them. Now, Eva, this decision won't happen overnight. We likely won't hear a decision from the Supreme Court until the end of term this summer. Live in Perry Square, Elspeth Meisner, Erie News Now.